This time is one of the most expensive 10 cents sold this year. The 1916D Mercury Dime in Mean State 66 with full bands. Rarely encountered in this superior grade, the 1916D Mercury Dime has always been the key to the series and one of the most sought after coins of 20th century. The present coin is magnificent specimen was a full strike imparting crisp detail to the all important bands that hold the faces together. The surfaces are awash in rich satin mint luster. Overall eye appeal is outstanding. It was sold for $78,000 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with this 1936 Washington Quarter in Mint State 68 Plus, attractively toned 25 cent worth big money. The 1936 Washington Quarter is a common coin that was produced in large quantities. However, the condition of the coin plays a significant role in its value. Mint State 68 Plus or Star is a very high grade, indicating a well preserved a nearly perfect coin. Rarity can be influenced by several factors including the coin's condition, mint mark and other features. It is always best to consult with a professional coin grading service or numismatist for a more accurate assessment of your coin's rarity and value. This bad boy ended up selling for $15,220.12 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Next, 1957 Lincoln Sentin MS67 Red Condition. This exquisite superb gem sports fulsome medium orange luster with subtle pastel pink and lilac peripheral highlights. This coin is still considered scarce in grand scheme of things, as only a small percentage of all 1957 Lincoln Sentins were struck to such high standards. The MS67 grade is also one of the highest grades awarded by coin grading services such as PCGS and NGC, making this coin desirable addition to any collection. It was sold for $8,225 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is 1936 Arkansas Centennial Half Dollar in Mid State 67. The 1936 50 cent is a scarce and highly sought after coin among collectors. It was minted in commemoration of the centennial of admission of Arkansas as a state into the Union. The MS67 grade indicates that the coin is in near perfect condition, with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. This grade is considered to be extremely high for a coin of this age and scarcity. It was sold for $1320 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1960 Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 66 with full steps. This Philadelphia Mint issue, of which more than 55 million pieces were produced, inaugurates a challenging decade in the Jefferson Nickel series, one which includes many issues that are notorious strike rarities in the certified full steps category. The 1960 is one of these, the present example among the finest obtainable for today's discerning collectors. Satiny and lightly toned surfaces present delicate champagne gold iridescence to the viewer, remarkably well struck for the issue, and it ended up selling for $5,040 at Stax Powers auction. This is error 1957D Lincoln sent in Mint State 64. Neatly preserved error penny struck on a dime planchet. Bright and lustrous silver with some deeper highlights. No trace of underlying Roosevelt dime is seen here obviously struck on a blank silver planchet, superb quality and high on the interest factor list as well. It ended up selling for $4370 at Stax Bowers auction. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video don't hesitate to press thumbs up.